We're in backup exec 15. I'm going to show you how to create a new group. So a group, if you see on the left hand side, there's a couple of them that come by default with backup exec. There's the all server group and then there's a retired server group for any servers you'd like to retire but still have a listing of them. So you may want to create a new group because that may not be sufficient. So let's go ahead and click add and we'll just call this uh, particular group name the test group. So you might want to have a test group of servers. Now here you have a drop down list for a couple different things. One is the server type and we're going to choose Windows computer. In this particular case it's our only one although if you install Linux or other ones you'll see those as options uh, if you install those during the installation procedure. If you hit the drop down list from here we've got several different uh, options we can do. We're going to say um, that we're only going to be looking for the uh, virtual machines. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at this middle section here under servers. It shows a list of all the different servers you have and which servers would you like to be in that particular group. So uh, we have only one server in ours just as an example. So we'll go ahead and check that box and we'll click OK. And now when we click on our test group, we see our one server that's in there. It also shows up under all servers. However, under retired servers, there are none in there. Although we certainly could go in and edit that and add a server to that if we wanted to. So that's how you create groups in Backup Exec 15.